talk shows have gained a lot of popularity in today's era because they offer the masses access to the lives of celebrities. We go very well together. <laughs> yes, let's get closer, shall we? There is no shortage of talk shows in 2021, and these talk shows are hosted by some of the funniest people on Earth. At this point, but he's been sent down rivers, he got mauled by a bear. Like, this was all things we did to him during filming. In today's video, we are going to show you some of the funniest moments in talk show history. I, but I heard that you were. <laughs> that will make you go LOL. Actress Kate Beckinsale is a hilarious person, and you can guess it from this clip. During the Graham Norton show, Kate Beckinsale recalled a hilarious prank she played on her partner with a piece of hotel chocolate. Kate said, How funny would it be if I just tucked it in between the person's buttocks while they're asleep? Through the day at work, it was there, and then the horror. Horror! I have done this without even feeling it? How funny is she? Isn't she? Conan O'Brien has been famous for being funny and kind, but flirty as well. When model Miranda Kerr sits down on the couch during this amusing footage from Conan O'Brien's show, Conan exhibits his perky and flirty side. He was like, yes, you look stunning, and that is a magnificent dresser into which you've been dipped. Let's come closer, shall we? You can depict by his attitude how flirty he is. We go very well together. <laughs> yes, let's get closer, shall we? <laughs> Um, in this clip, you can see Chris Tucker talking about his humbling experience in China with his Rush Hour co-star Jackie Chan. He says that Jackie took care of all of us. We went to a different hotel every night. Chris further mentioned that Jackie owned everything there. At every hotel, he would ask, you like this hotel? This is my hotel. Chris amusingly said that he told him, it's my movie. I wanted to go to China and I couldn't back out of it. He said, you know Jackie Chan, daddy. He owned everything. He's like, you like hotel? <laughs> he said, you like hotel? I said, yeah, it's my hotel. That's my hotel. No. Yeah, that's okay. I came to see you. What do you think I'm over here for? You're the only person I know in China. <laughs> <laughs> Emily Blunt gets frustrated with Russell Brand on The Graham Norton Show. While Emily was trying to talk about her scary shark encounter, Brand was continuously interrupting and trolling her. He was like, was it a real shark? Did it eat humans? Emily told him it was about six feet tall. He laughed at her and was like, that's a type of fish. A close encounter with a shark. About six feet, so Did I it eat people? It wasn't, but it, why right. are you trying to diminish my story? It's just the type of fish. Yes, many people are afraid of clowns, and Diddy is one of them. In this clip from The L show, you can see that P. Diddy is bragging he is not terrified of clowns anymore. Diddy is like, there are so many things to be afraid of. A clown is not gonna scare me and I'm not afraid of them anymore. But when Ellen throws him a stunning surprise, you can see him jumping as he gets scared. While he was talking, a joker suddenly appeared from the side and Diddy started screaming and jumping around. How funny! He is still afraid of clowns. I, but I heard that you were. <laughs> <laughs> You can see in this hilarious clip that Dwayne Johnson and Kevin Hart are roasting each other. On The Ellen Show, when Ellen displayed baby and teenage photos of Dwayne and Kevin on the big screen, they started roasting each other. Kevin says Dwayne looks like a detective, and Dwayne later shows a hilarious picture of Kevin in which he is just 16 years old. This moment is really going to make you say, what are they even talking about? I'm always gonna be shorter than everybody's cat. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I hate that I'm standing right now. On The Late Late Show with James Corden, James was discussing with the guests that model Heidi Klum had a lot more hand jobs as compared to face jobs. James asked Heidi if that was why she started out as a hand model and what was the secret behind it. Heidi responded that she had no idea. She always got more hand jobs than face jobs. When you, but when you started out, you started out as a hand model. I did. Honestly, <laughs> I, did. I have no idea. I mean, I always, I got more hand jobs than face jobs. I don't know. You guys must be aware of Chris Pratt. In this clip, you can see him talking about his days of coming up as a broke person. Chris Pratt said that while he was working in a restaurant during his struggle days, he would encourage people to order more food than they could actually eat. He did that so that he could eat the leftover food in the safe zone. The customers would see him eating their food, and the chef could not yell at him in front of customers for eating food. He said that he had about 14 ounces of steak in a day. That is such a good idea, I must say. What do you think? A safe zone to wear a safe zone. <laughs> 
judgment. For judgment. 15 maybe ounces of steak that I had to get down in about 10 feet. <laughs> Actor Mark Ruffalo used to do theater plays during his struggling days. While on a talk show, Mark recalled an uncomfortable but hilarious situation he was in and shared it with everyone. He said that once, his friend gave him real weed to smoke on stage instead of an artificial joint, and he actually smoked that giant blunt with full confidence while people backstage were laughing at him. And literally, we, between the two of us, we smoked a giant blunt on stage. And I, and, and, and I was that dude standing backstage laughing at me? <laughs> Will Ferrell is one of the most successful actors, but Kevin has some other thoughts about him. On a talk show, Kevin was talking about Will Ferrell and that he is such a talented actor and nice guy. But Kevin told everyone that he is also one of the cheapest people, despite having so much success and wealth. Kevin said that Will always showed up at work with the most amazing attitude, but he did not spend a single penny. Kevin further said that Will has still got the first ever Blackberry, and despite it being in such bad condition, all tapped up, he is still using it. Oh my god. Will doesn't, I don't think Will has spent the penny. I don't think he's spent anything. You might remember the dead body from one of the Daniel films. Once on The Graham Norton Show, Daniel Radcliffe brought his custom dead body dummy from his movie Swiss Army Man. The dead body was really creepy and it shocked the guests as well as the audience. At this point, but he's been sent down rivers, he got mauled by a bear. Like, this was all things we did to him during filming. How would you guys have reacted if a dead body dummy was placed in front of you? Let us know in the comments below. Next, we have a very hilarious clip of Donald Trump. When Donald Trump was invited to the Jimmy Fallon show, he gave Jimmy a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity of messing up his hair. You could see the level of excitement on Jimmy's face while he's messing up Trump's hair. And later, you can see Trump's front hair came off his head. OMG, what a funny situation that must have been. <laughs> In this clip from The Graham Norton Show, you can see that Nicole Kidman lightheartedly calls out Graham for being provocative. During the show, Graham brings up a picture of Nicole Kidman kissing Alexander Skarsgård. At this, Nicole told Graham gaily that he is so provocative, and why is he showing that? She also said that she kissed her husband, too, but Graham hilariously pointed out that her husband actually stood there watching while she kissed Skarsgård. So provocative, Graham. <laughs> Why are you showing that? Nicole. Kissed my husband too. Well, that he is right there. Charlize Theron was shocked to discover that Seth Rogen collaborated with porn star Stormy Daniels on two occasions. But Rogen cleared that he did not work in a porno film. It was just a normal film. It's like when you need someone naked in a movie, you should hire a porn star because it's the easiest thing. What are your views about this? Seth, you worked with Stormy Daniels. I did work, not in a porno film. This is really the most awkward moment for Jimmy. When actress Gal Gadot asked Jimmy Kimmel for his opinion on her breasts, he is absolutely taken aback and embarrassed. Jimmy was talking about some comic book nerds when Gal asks him what he thinks about her breasts. Jimmy was stunned for a moment, and then he said they look great. Seriously, comic book nerds take this kind of stuff because I am one of them. Really? Yes. What do you think about my breasts? Do I don't know. Hold on. Let me figure like... it out. Okay, let's figure it out. <laughs> All right, guys, that's it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let us know in the comment section which of these funny moments you enjoyed the most. Be sure to hit the like and subscribe button. We'll be back soon with another video. See ya!